What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Back for another session on some Inconel today. Before we jump in, if you guys find these videos interesting, useful, or just happen to enjoy them, please consider clicking on that little button and subscribing. It'd be a big help to the channel. Thank you. Today, we will be taking a look at one of the more popular nickel alloys known as Inconel 718 when produced by special metals. If it's not produced by special metals, it is just plain old alloy 718. The UNS chemical composition designation is N07718. With a combination of high strength, corrosion, and oxidation resistance, it has applications at temperatures ranging from minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. This alloy is strengthened by a two-step heat treatment. First, the alloy is solution treated at 700, at 1700, 1700 to 1950 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by rapid cooling, usually a water quench. Then, second, the precipitation heat treatment typically consists of heating to 1350 to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 hours, followed by furnace cooling to 1150 to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit and holding for a total of 18 to 20 hours. Applications in aerospace include components of rocket and jet engines and land-based gas turbines. At cryogenic temperatures, it is used for tankage and other components. With higher aging temperatures, 718 is approved for NACE oil field application. Curie temperature is below minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit in all conditions for non-magnetic applications. Room temperature permeability in the age condition is 1.0011 at 200 Ersted. Now for the chemical composition of this lovely alloy. So, here we are, today, right there. 718's chemical composition is nickel plus cobalt, 50 to 55%, chromium, 17 to 21%, niobium plus tantalum, 4 and 3 quarter to 5.5%, molybdenum, 2.8 to 3.30%, Aluminum, 0.2 to 0.80%. Titanium is 0.65 to 1.15%. Carbon, 0.08% max. Manganese, 0.35 max. Sulfur, 0.015 max. Phosphorus, 0.015 max. Silicon, 0.35 max. Boron, almost done, 0.006 max. And lastly, iron is the balance. Typical room temperature mechanical properties in the treated and aged condition. Carry a yield strength of 150,000 PSI, a tensile strength of 180,000 PSI, and a 12% elongation. Density is 0.297 pounds per cubic inch. And now, if we go, which way do we go today? Let's go here for the specifications. And we'll do it like we've done the last couple weeks. Only highlight the AMS specs. For bars and forgings, it's 5652, 5663, and AMS 5664. For pipe and tube, it's AMS 5589 and AMS 5590. Lastly, for sheet and plate, it is AMS 5596 and AMS 5597. And so, whoop, there we are. Now, each specification has requirements that can add to or restrict the chemical composition beyond what we have shown you today. Premium vacuum melting or multiple melting cycles are often required in 718 specifications. Heat treatment and other processing and testing requirements also exist in the individual specifications. And so to be sure that all the requirements have been identified and met, I am going to remind you to, what do you think? Check the Specs! Twice. And so this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Please consider, if you have yet to and you have made it this far, subscribing. Help support the channel. If not, you missed any of the previous videos, there they are. Again, thank you guys for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. See you guys next Thursday. Thank you.